guys, this is Real Life with Kathy and Nancy. And we're going to answer some questions about some topics that were explored in last life. I guess I should have thought about this more, just throughout life. It's very fascinating. I'll admit, in terms of like, really technical things, I don't really know that much about it. <laughs> um, the concept, I think, is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like the idea of it. <laughs> <laughs> But I like the idea that, I mean, you could really literally be anybody, so you're not, like, limited to, like, just this one lifetime. Yeah, actually, that's... Because it's, like, really, life is really short, and it's really limiting to think that this is all you're ever going to be. Like, I want to be a princess or something. Okay, you're right. <laughs> okay, when you put it that way. Yeah, maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think I'm an old soul. Old, old. Old, old? Old as hell, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <for> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've been told that since I was young, you know? That you're an old soul? I feel like I've been here, you know? Nothing's really... I don't know. It's like, when things happen, it's just... It's like, it's happened. You know, it's not, like, it's not like, oh my god, kind of like that, but it's... I feel like I have ex life experience that I don't... You know, like parallel? Yeah, like you sense. don't have like like the actual proof of the life yeah. experience. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like you have the wisdom. The wisdom. Perfect. <laughs> See, this is why. <laughs> the wisdom. Okay. Exactly. So, yeah. Definitely old though. Nothing fresh or new here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, th I think I'm an old soul too because I feel like I don't know, even I remember even like a small child like thinking more maturely than I probably should have been thinking. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like just feeling like I knew things. Like mm -hmm. I, I was like, oh, I know how the world works, yeah. you know? <laughs> See, that has the life experience. Like you just, you yeah. Like you know. I just, yeah. yeah, feeling like you have like this wisdom. Yeah. yeah. We're wise. <laughs> We're very wise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, I think there can be a few. I'm being very realistic today, it's weird. Um, I don't know, I feel like there's billions of us here, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think there's just a few, like a handful, literally, of people who you can really connect with on the soul level. But if there was just one, that would suck. Like, yeah. Good luck. Bye. Yeah, I think that's really, actually really sad to think that there's only one person in this whole world that could be your soulmate because honestly like even in last life like Taylor and Sloan they're just so lucky that they happen to be the same age you're right I mean yeah. there could be like a 40 year old and a 10 year old and they're supposed to be soulmates exactly. you know yeah, exactly. that's that was not crazy work. yeah so in a way I guess your soulmate could also be a different form like a lot of people feel like their best friends are their soulmates that's true and stuff so I think a soulmate doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic thing. I feel like my cat is mine. Yes. Just one of them though. <laughs> yes, I think my old cat was actually mine too. <laughs> that is so gay. <laughs> I love how you said that. Uh, yeah, uh, I believe basically what you said that there are a handful of people that you could connect with. Mm -hmm. At like a, like a deeper level that I feel like you wouldn't connect with most people on. Like there's like this like feeling of just instant understanding exactly. with them. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your questions in the comment section below and we will be sure to answer those in our next video. And also don't forget to follow us on social media, Kathy DiStefano and Nancy Cooney.